Hello, I Dr. Vijay Chandra Jedla welcomes you to today's session on Cloud Computing Lab 1B. Today I am going to discuss related to the lab where we are going to start an instance of EC2 and on it we are going to install Windows operating system with the remote access. Now let's start the session by clicking on the start lab. Just click on the start lab and wait for a while so that the lab will be ready for us. Meanwhile, I am going to discuss the topics which today I am going to cover. The title of today's topic is to create and launch the Amazon EC2 instance with a window operating system and access this via remote, remote desktop protocol that is RDP. Then comes to here the first step we are going to do is signing up the AWS environment. Then comes to navigate EC2 board. Then comes to launch the instance. Then we are going to download the key pair. So these are the major steps which we are going to start right now. Now I am going to click on the AWS. Once I click on the AWS, then we will enter into the EC2 instance screen. So here this is the EC2 instance screen where I am going to click on the EC2 uh, where I am going to enter into the EC2 environment. So Elastic Compute Cloud environment is here. Funds check the instances are zero. Running instances are zero. Key pair is one. Security group is one. Today I am going to create a key pair by my own and I am going to launch the instance. So first I am going to click on the launch instance. Now the name of the instance is Oscar. So I am saying my EC2 new and some number 3142. Okay. So what I given the instance name is my EC2 new 3142. Okay. After doing this, the next step which I am going to use is the second step is applications and operating system images applications and operating system images so here then applications and operating system images the os amazon aws then comes to the windows operating system so here i am going to click on the windows just click on it so here in the windows It is eligible for the free tier. Since it is eligible for the free tier, I am going to use this operating uh, this concept of Windows operating system that is of Microsoft. So then next step comes into existence that is uh, authentication is of uh, Amazon machine image that is AMI which is of 64 bit. Since it is eligible for the free tire I am going to use that only I am not going to change anything here then comes to the next t2.micro let it be the t2.micro then here I am going to give the key name that is my key my key I am giving the name as my key since it is not there I am going to create a new key pair just click on the new key pair here I am giving my key and it is of RSA and then comes to dot PEM then say create key pair just click on the create key pair then it will be saved in your download documents that is my key of one is saved of dot PEM PEM so my key is the key pair which I created a new key pair which named as my key. Okay. 
then comes to the next step create a security group automatically it will create then after security group allow the content uh, rdb traffic from the ip address then uh, allow it https from anywhere on the internet this is also allow http traffic from anywhere on the internet and after that the next step which i am going to use here is clicking on the launch launch instance before that once i am going to revise all all the concepts which i did right now that is to create the create and launch an ec2 instance EC2 instance with the Windows operating system and access it with via remote desktop protocol that is RDB then sign in to AWS management console then navigate to EC2 dashboard then comes to the launch instance download the key pair then click on the checkboxes which already we done then launch the instance so these are all the steps which we till now did the next thing is select ec2 instance click on the connect button select the rdp client then click on the get password then upload the private key file then also click on the decrypt password so these all are the different steps which we are going to use here then comes to the first step that is the launch instance so now it is launching the instance so the instance is created by itself now i am clicking on the ec2 environment now it is pending just select this ec2 environment and check the still it is pending as previously here also there will be an ip address computer related then comes to the instance type then virtual private uh, vpc id subnet id and all these the properties will be here let us check again yes it's running so next is i am going to connect this then select this rdp client not the senior manager select the rdb client connect using the rdb client then after that the next step is download remote desktop file or get select this get password password not available go back connect rdb client get a remote desktop file okay get password now we have to upload the key which we downloaded previously select this this key is uploaded then comes to come down click on the decrypt password then password is decrypted now you are ready now go to the search button and select the remote desktop connection search for the remote desktop connection
then in remote desktop connection click on connect click on connect then it goes on connecting with the remote desktop if you are doing first time you have to give the user show details then it will ask the computer name administrator and then comes to the connect so here you have to say connect it will connect with the remote desktop installing remote desktop connection which you will find select this public dns okay copy the public dns and here the username is administrator that is by default and here it is the password so go to the remote desktop connection there in a space of computer you have to you have to paste the public dns then you have to say connect then username it is an administrator public dns is copied then comes to the password you have to copy okay now let's check the procedure here the password is this is the password username is an administrator and public dns is the system id so here i am going to select the remote desktop connection then here instead of this select this public dns copy this and now paste it here in the computer as a computer name then say connect then due to this it will ask related to the desktop connection uh, firewall say yes now you entered into the desktop connection of windows where you have your own synchronization windows account add account synchronized data without synchronized data confirm and continue sign in google continue with this data then confirm and start browsing so here you have your own browser i'm closing this or minimizing this so this is the environment of windows based on the ec2 instance 
and you can see all the components of the windows here okay server manager windows powershell windows shell ise windows administrative desktop remote desktop task manager control panel event view and file explorer right now i am shut downing this particular window just click on the shut down window this is all about the today's session that is installing and launching an ec2 instance and on it we are going we are we call the windows environment aws windows is installed on the ec2 instance that's all for today hope you all and